Hello everyone, this is Pop Potsy here, and today I'm doing a simple tutorial for iOS 8 users on how to install third-party keyboards. So those were just added in iOS 8 yesterday, and they're fairly easy to actually enable. A lot of people have been having issues though, so I thought I'll make a quick video on walking through how you do it and what it means. So first you go to the App Store, of course, and in this video tutorial, I'll be using the free Swift key, I think it's called, because it's free and it's easy to show. So Swift key keyboard's right there. So if you go to the top free, you should see it. If not, you can just search Swift key keyboard and pick it up there. It's absolutely free at the time of this recording. Hopefully they don't kick it up to not a dollar or whatever, but just get it while it's free. Now, if you click open, you open up this app, it's going to have a couple of things going on here. But what you need to do, I'm not sure where the actual screen goes that's supposed to help you install, but it doesn't matter. You may not see the screen. It doesn't matter what screen you see. Once you've installed and run the app, you get out of there and you go to settings. You'll scroll down. Well, I'm actually, let me go back. There we go. You go down to general right here. Keyboard, keyboards, and you're going to say add a new keyboard. And you're going to have third-party keyboards. Now, I've got two application keyboards installed. I haven't enabled them because I'm trying to show you guys the video. Um, so I'm going to do Swift key. So I'm going to click on that one. And now it's enabled. Now, Apple has a little bit of a deal here. So let me show you guys. If I go out of here, I'll go ahead and use the keyboard. I'll go to Messages and hit the keyboard here. I'm going to hit, see the globe on the bottom left? That's how you toggle between your keyboards. This is my Apple keyboard. If I hit it, it'll go to my Emoji emoji keyboard if I hit it again it'll go to my swift key keyboard so on swift key keyboard um you can obviously do s stuff like um hello there how are you so it works really well obviously I was being extremely sloppy there and it still gets things extremely accurately the keyboard is clean it's nice looking in my opinion especially on my black iPhone 5 I think it looks really nice um, just looking at it from a distance even it looks like a clean nice keyboard works well and it's free so there's really not much about it that was not good now let me explain something else real quickly though as far as your privacy is concerned so if you go to keyboards and type on swift key that allow full access button is green on my phone I switched it to green because if I go to my keyboard let me go back into the messages let me show you something. So see these predictive things? How are you doing? You know, they, those things are predicting. The only way you can do that is using algorithms and um, sending your data back and forth and figuring out what you want to say. So they can see everything you're typing, basically. Now, this doesn't mean that they're actually looking at what you're typing. All it means is that Apple cannot guarantee everything you're typing is not safe. For example, bank numbers, addresses, phone number, anything sensitive is not necessarily safe. If you disable full access and go back to the keyboard, you'll find that those predictive things are no longer available. And it will have that orange eye thing right there trying to notify you that you cannot have. But it, you can still do, you can still type in things. But to actually get the swipe and things to work, um, you've got to go and enable full access, which can be slightly uncomfortable for some people. As far as I know, SwiftKey is a very reliable brand of keyboard, so I'll go ahead and hit allow, and you can go back to your keyboard and begin to type. Now, Swipe does similar things, but I do not believe it requires full access. Um, so just be aware of that. I'm just make sure you guys understand the privacy thing and what you're doing when you're enabling full access. In fact, if you go to settings, you can actually look right here. So it's about third-party keyboards and privacy. You can click that. You can actually read this right here. It's not very long. You can read through this and Apple explains it very clearly what's happening when you enable those things. If you enable full access, developers are permitted to access, collect, and transmit the data you type. In addition, and it talks about some more details. So I'd be sure to read that through before you click any enabling buttons. Um, but of course, that's that's your decision. You can you use your own judgment on whether or not you want to do that. So that's how you install third-party keyboards. I recommend you pick this up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put a link in the description on where you can download this app for free again in case you cannot find on the App Store for whatever reason. So you can click that link and get there. So thank you guys. If you have any other recommendations of videos you'd like to see about iOS 8, be sure to put them in the description below. I'll take a look at them and, and create some of those for you guys.